Yeah, you're looking good, man. I always try my best, man. No, you look yeah. good. Yeah, you know, that's it. Make a statement. How fast could do you run the 40 right now? If I got people chasing me, trying to hurt me, let's four, say one, four, two. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Yeah. <laughs> which which defensive back made you nervous? Not scared you, but you would you were aware of and you ran a little faster. I I respected every def, uh, defensive back that lined up against me because those are the best athletes on the field. So you have to respect those guys, but you also know that you have a job to do. But was there one that you knew it was going to hurt a little more than the other Not, one? You know what? No, because you, you couldn't get intimidated. You know, you just had to go out and you had to play your best football. Now, when you got safeties like uh, Atwater, uh, Smith, those big safeties, you know exactly where those guys are on the football field. But still, if you're going across the middle, you can't think about those guys. You got to think about the catch. Did Ronnie Lott ever hit you in practice? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why would Ronnie hit me, man? What are you talking about? I don't know. Maybe accidentally no. hit you? No. See, uh, Bill Walsh, he was all about uh Did you get to wear a jersey like players. Montana did where the, you no. don't get hit? In no, no, no. I, th I think uh, Bill Romanowski, I think doing training camp, I was catching a ball underneath, coming over the middle, and he hit me. So I jumped up and I tackled him. Then everybody just started fighting. <laughs> so, but, you know, Bill Walsh, he was the type of coach. Uh, he didn't want uh, players hitting each other because he wanted. He knew that it was a long season. And he wanted to keep players healthy, which R was smart. Romanowski crazy? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right? He was crazy. Just say he was different. Yeah. He was different. Uh, you know, just... Uh, just a intense guy on the football field, and you knew that he was going to bring it every game. And he was crazy. He's uh, Jerry Rice, the Hall of Famer, joining us uh, courtesy of K Jewelers. Uh, brought in some uh, yeah. some hardware here. Nice, yeah. nice, uh, nice ring. Conversation piece there. Yeah, you, you know, uh, you know, I'm honored to be with uh, K Jewelers, and uh, it's the number one uh, jury uh, store in America, and. Uh, Another thing, too, it's the official jury store for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And a lot of you guys might not realize this, uh, you know, with uh, K Jewelers. Uh, you can get things that are custom made. and So uh, I could get rings made yeah, for my you know, guys. Like, the, like this is the ring of excellence right here. And this thing is priceless. It's something that you have to earn. But I have Charles Haley. Does Charles Haley know I have his Super Bowl? I, I don't think he knows he that. But if he know. did, he probably and, would run through and, you and, and I, tackle you I, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to leave that right over there. But that thing's yeah. a bracelet on me. That's uh, Charles, And now Charles Haley, another guy. Yeah, Charles Little. Haley, a uh, great football player. And, you know, back to what I was saying about uh, the ring of excellence. Um, it's priceless. And you have to earn it. And uh, we know how big, you know, Super Bowl uh, 50 is going to be. But there's another big day coming after that, which is uh, Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. and, yeah. and, you know, you can get something special for that significant other. And also you can go to, uh, you know, uh, K.com uh, and get something priceless. So I think it's fantastic, man, that, you know, all the inductees, they get a chance to uh, wear one of these. And you got your jacket on, too. I got my jacket on. Uh, I sort of, uh, I wanted, wanted to liven this up just a little bit. No, it looks good. Threw a little red, a little look, gray into it and stuff like that. Do you take your Hall of Fame jacket to the cleaners? Uh, yes. What? Yeah. Well, what if, what if they lose it? Like, they've lost not, some of my clothes before. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, I'll send a suit out, and they'll go, oh, sorry, we lost it. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> now, how could they lose a Hall of Fame jacket? But but they what if they had a bunch of Hall well, of Fame jackets? Back I don't know what cleaners you're going to. <laughs> yeah. is your you're name, not going to the right one. Is your name on the inside of that jacket? Uh, yes. Wait, open it up. Let me see. No. <laughs> Because it's not on there? I mean, <laughs> Let me see. Where does it say Jerry Rice on there? 
It's got it. It's there. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's here. It's here. <laughs> That's not even yours, is why, it? Why are you fighting me over that, man? I, you, I just you don't wanted trust to me? know. You don't trust me? It's in here. It's here. It's Your name is in that jacket right now. <laughs> yes. Okay. I now, don't... can we move on? Okay. All right. <laughs> so, the most money you ever received as an offer to go to college was from who? The most money? What are you talking about? Did you ever? You don't, have... you don't get offered money to oh, what go do you to get? college. What do you get? Unless you go into Notre Dame or <laughs> USC. <laughs> Those major schools, but you know, Mississippi, Mississippi Valley, Valley didn't State, offer you. No, it was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just, you know, they offered me a scholarship, and I felt like that was an opportunity to further my career, and and I went for it. Biggest school that offered you a scholarship. I I got letters from all the major schools, but no one came out to talk to me face to face. Would you do better now with the whole combine? Now, I'm not talking about playing in the league, but right. just the whole system of getting into a all-star game or Under Armour high school all-star or any of that stuff, would it have helped you and maybe changed the, the path of your career because of that? Uh, are you talking about the combine? Yeah, but like, um, now I know you're drafted high, but I'm just talking about college with these kids. Oh, are, some major schools yeah, and, and the, all that. Yeah, I've, would they have found you earlier? You know what? I, I just feel like things happen for a reason. It was meant for me to go to Mississippi Valley State University, and uh, the way Bill Walsh found me, uh, you know, it's something I'll never forget. Because Bill, Bill pretty much gave me the opportunity to play professional football. And they were in New Orleans to play the New Orleans Saints, and uh, there was a Saturday game, and he just noticed me running across the television making great catches. So, so, so the Niners it. are playing the Saints. Right. And Bill watches TV and sees you playing in a game. Yeah, a Saturday game. And uh, and and pretty much he went back and, and he said, hey, we need huh. to check into this guy at Mississippi Valley State, Jerry Rice. So he, he opened that door for me and uh, there was just no way I was going to let him down. We see Cam Newton and how he has fun, celebrates. Huh. Did, I, tr did, I tried dancing a little bit. Uh, early doing my career didn't look good. It did not. No, no, it just didn't look good uh, when I when I saw it on film. So I changed that, and you know, but you know, with uh, with Cam, what he's what he does, he said, "Hey, look, if you guys don't want me to dance, don't let me score." But so, was Bill Walsh okay with you if you were going to celebrate? Yeah, he it was care. okay yeah. as long as it didn't interfere with uh, the team. Did Montana celebrate? I, Didn't he have like that that like fist pump or well, something? Well, yeah, after he threw or a he touchdown too, he, or he, something he, like that. But, you know, uh, then Steve Young, he did a little dancing. Yeah, he tried to. Wait, he was, Steve was dancing? Yeah, his rhythm was not that good, though. It was a little off. Well, Just who, joking, man. You're supposed to laugh at that. Come on, <laughs> loosen up. <laughs> I'm a journalist, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> May I? But I, so Steve, Steve did try to dance. Yeah, yeah. But we all had had fun. But you know, as long as it it doesn't become a distraction for the team, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong, wrong with these guys being a little creative. Would you rather uh, play with Cam Newton or Peyton Manning at their best? Both, both. Well, no, you got picked. That's both, the way it works both. around here. Uh, at their Cam Newton this year or Peyton Manning six years ago. Uh, I would have to go with both. No, it's no. I, I, I think they're they're exceptional quarterbacks. But as a wide receiver, who do you want to play with? Uh, I would make both those guys great. <laughs> well, <laughs> you'd no, make them greater. I, you know what? I I, I would have to go with uh, Peyton Manning. And and the reason why I say that is because. Of his legacy, he'd been around for a long time. And, and Cam Cam is still uh, building his legacy. And the guy is 6'4", about 240, and, you know, very uh, intimidating on the football field. But, you know, with, uh, you know, Peyton Manning, that would be just unbelievable. Because I think we had a couple opportunities, like in the Pro Bowl. And, and I remember 
all he wanted to do, he wanted to throw me a touchdown in the Pro Bowl. And he just kept <laughs> calling my number over and over and over. Throw the ball to Jerry. I, I want to throw the ball to Jerry. <laughs> so that would be awesome, man. The play that beat the Bengals in the Super Bowl, John Taylor catches the touchdown yeah. pass. In the huddle, when you heard the play, what was your reaction? What was the call? Do you remember the play? Well, on that particular play, I was just uh, I was just being an actor. Were you a decoy? Uh, yeah, I was, I was Brad Pitt. Did it bother yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, no. No. No, because I, I knew that the defense felt like uh, the ball was coming my direction, and that opened up John Taylor one-on-one. So, you know, we all have a role to play, and it was my turn to, uh, you know, play my role. What was the play? Do you remember? I think it was flanker, motion, uh, ex post. On one or two? Uh, I think it was on one. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I didn't uh, jump, jump off side. Jump off <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, here's the awkward question that I yeah. can't ask because I'm a journalist. And Paulie brought this up earlier yeah. this morning. So, Paulie, your awkward question for Jerry Rice is? I, I hate to bring this up, and I apologize in advance, but this popped in my head at 3.20 in the morning. And you know Jerry Rice, one of my favorite all-time players. I love Just him. get to the question. You're 53 years old. You're going to live a long life. But if something happened to you, Mr. Rice, you see our studio. We have some of the best memorabilia back home in the man cave. If something happens, would you donate your hands to our show? And we'd have them properly mounted by a taxidermist, put them on the wall. This popped in my head this morning. I yeah, know it's very think? awkward. What do you think? Is he serious? Yes, he is. The greatest receiver of all time. It's, yeah. it's a fact. No, you, he's joking with me, right? No, we'd love to put your hands on display. Oh, okay. We'd write you a good check for it in advance. I, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't give you my hands. One, one of them. I can't. I can't do it. I'm donating. That's, that's just not going to work. I'm donating my vocal cords to uh, the Smithsonian. Well, so. well, that's you. But you know, plus you are the the best wide receiver, right? I yeah. got the best hands. Yeah, I'm not a great yeah. wide receiver. Yo, that's, you know, you said I was number two uh, best receiver yeah. in the room. Yes. So I'm assuming that you're number one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. As long as you. But I, I can't. I can't. You would not give up those hands. No, can't do it. All right. All right. We asked. Yes, Paulie. Our well. boss just gave me the okay. 10K per hand. 10,000. No, so 10,000. That's a starter, Mr. Rice. Yeah. It's all negotiable, Jerry. But look, ring. No, you, no, we'll take the ring off. <laughs> it's going to stay here, okay? <laughs> we'll, even, we'll even put K jewelers underneath your hands <laughs> as we mount them. Uh, okay, let me think about that one. Okay. okay? Fair <laughs> yes, Fritzy. Why? Couldn't we have just asked for like his hand prints to act, ask for his actual hands a little yeah, you know, it's a little traumatic <laughs> and violent? Uh, don't you realize? Okay, okay, I'm gonna break this down for you guys real fast. Okay. These hands right here, right 1,549 receptions, yeah. 22,895 yards, yes. and 208 touchdowns. Yes. Ooh. No, so you can't have it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But you've had them long enough and done enough with them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If yes. We, if we get one hand, it's like 780 catches. We're only taking half. Yes. No. Can we do that? You'd still be a Hall of Famer. No. With one hand, you'd still be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> uh, Seton, what? Mr. Rice, I just want to apologize on behalf of my coworkers here. We were out late last night, early mornings, it's sort okay. of burning it's the candle right. at both it's ends. Okay. You know what? When you have a little bit of wine and you start yeah. saying, what it's are we no going to talk to Jerry Rice about? It's they know no not harm what they in say. asking. Yeah. Okay. Okay, no harm. But the answer is no. All right. You will not hear that question again today, I'm going to guess. Okay. I don't no, think I'm anybody sure. is going to bring I'm that. I'm sure of that. Okay. I'm sure of that, Dan. He's the second best receiver the in the room. The second best wide receiver in the room. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he only had uh, 1,549 catches and 22,000 yards and uh, 197 touchdowns. And probably in today's uh, oh, here football, we go. <laughs> <laughs> that would have doubled. Doubled? That would have doubled. You'd have 2,000 catches, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure. No, and, and I'm, I'm, in all sincerity, man, I'm that's saying... Just, that's just what I just, just said. I know. You? Yeah. I know. Two, he would have 2,000 catches. He'd probably have 25,000 yards. Yeah. Being the second, second best wide receiver in the room. Second best hands. Second best hands in the room. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. And we can prove that but whenever look, you want to. I got I, a jug's gun out there. Dan, I got the ring, though. <laughs> You got the ring. <laughs> but you know what, Jerry? <laughs> I got a ring, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's Jerry Rice. It's uh, K Jewelers. Uh, K, K Jewelers ready for Valentine's Day. And uh, maybe you can get a, a, 
uh, Hall of Fame ring as well. It's always great to see you, Jerry. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> you look me, great. Guys.